Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a sliding carousel slideshow inside After Effects. So if you want to follow with me, you can download the project file in the link in the description given below. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and let's see what we are gonna be creating. new composition and I will name it place over 1 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok right away duplicate this placeholder and highlight both of them and double click my mouse to open it up I will highlight the placeholder one go to my assets and open this image folder I will highlight this image and drop it down to my timeline I will zoom it out a bit and then drag it down i will open the placeholder too i will highlight this image and drop it down to my timeline zoom it out press s on my keyboard for the scale and i will just scale it down go to composition and create a new composition and name it horizontal frame Nineteen twenty by 1080 p 30 frames per second click ok i will double click this shape make sure that the fill is none the stroke color white size of the stroke is 60 pixels make it transparent you can see here so now we will go and create a new composition and i will name it vertical frame now i will change the width to about 960 and the height is the same click ok then double click again your shape tool and you can see here there's a stroke which is good so all i have to do is to create again another new composition and i will name it media one i will change the weather to 1920 and i will click ok i will right away drop down this placeholder one and the horizontal frame all i have to do is to highlight this horizontal frame go to effects and preset go to perspective add drop shadow on it i will change the drop shadow probably 10 percent and the softness 10 then i will go back again to composition and create a new composition i will name it media 2 and this time i will change this width to 960 i will click ok drop down the placeholder 2 move it on the right side just like this then I will highlight this vertical frame and drag it down to my timeline just above the placeholder too then go to effects and preset and perspective I will add drop shadow I will just change the distance here to 10 and uh, softness is 10 go to composition and create a new composition I will name it horizontal shape I will change the width to about 1500 and the height probably 420 the frame rate is 30 and the duration is 10 seconds click ok I will go back to my project panel then go to layer create a new shape layer then grab your shape tool double click it fill is this color the stroke is none then go to your project panel and drop down this media one Press S for the scale and scale it down. I think it should be good enough. And then also I will drop down this media too. Press S on your keyboard for the scale and scale it down. Just 39%. And then highlight both of these layers and press P on your keyboard for the position and reposition each image to your choice. And 
I think that should be good enough and then I will again go to composition create a new composition and I will name it tagline I want the width and height to be 1500 by 420 click ok then grab your pen tool make sure that the fill is on and draw a shape like this Now grab your text tool and type sliding carousel slideshow. Here I'm using Bodoni Moda font bold and I will change this to 42 pixels. Maybe 48 is okay. Reposition it here. And again I will grab my text tool and type carousel. Same kind of font and I'm just using this size 72. I want it bigger drag it in here and then I will again grab my text tool and I will type slideshow same font but this time I'm using only 60 pixel font and highlight all these text layers and go to effects and preset and perspective I will just add drop shadow I think this should be good enough so now I'm gonna go to composition and create another composition and I will name it carousel. This time I'm gonna change this width to 1920 and the height is 1080p. And I will click OK. Then I'm gonna go to my project panel and drop down this horizontal shape and also the tagline. I will press S on my keyboard for the tagline. Rescale this to 80%. I will highlight this horizontal shape. Go to effects and preset perspective and I will just add drop shadow on it. I will change the distance to 10 and the softness is 80. And I will highlight this drop shadow and copy it. And then highlight this tagline and paste the effect. So as you can see here there's a little bit of a nice drop shadow so all i have to do is to go back to my project panel and i will drop down this image here into my timeline and then i will move my play hit to about one second hit the stopwatch in here for the position and go back to the beginning of my timeline and i will highlight these two and probably just drag it until it's out of our canvas and then I will highlight all these keyframes and right click my mouse easy is it. I will open the crop editor, highlight these points and drag it on this side. Then I will just offset it like this. So it's not at the same time gonna be appearing. So there will be an interesting animation on it. I will go to composition and create a new composition and I will name it BG or background 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and I will click OK. Now I will open my project panel and drop down this image on my timeline. I will press R and shift S and I will change the rotation here to about 90 degrees and the scale I will change this to 39 maybe less than 39 go to the carousel open it up and go to project panel drop down this bg on your timeline i will make these compositions a 3d layers and go to effects and preset i will just add motion tile in here and i will change the output width to 500 and the output height 500 then check this mirror edges so now I'm gonna go to layer and create a new camera. I'm using two node 50mm preset camera. Click OK. Go back to layer and I will create a new null object. I want this null object a 3D layer and then parent this camera to the null object. I will press P on my keyboard and shift R for the rotation. Drag my play it on the two seconds duration. Create a keyframe on the X rotation. I will change this to 43. And then move forward my playhead to the end of my timeline and change this to 30 degrees. I will also go back again to 2 seconds duration and create a keyframe on the position and move your playhead to the end of your timeline. Change the position to the left side 
until the shape is gone so now i want to go back to my project panel and drop down this bouquet into my timeline i will right away pre-compose it and move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i will go to effects and preset go to generate and add a fill i will grab the picker tool here randomly choose whatever color you want and pick a darker color within your bouquet i think that should be good enough go to layer and add a new solid i will name it mask click ok i will grab the ellipse tool double click my mouse drag this mask at the very top open the mask and change the mask one here to subtract increase the feather so now i will go back to my project panel and close this ones create a new folder and i will name it scene one and highlight all these compositions and drag it into my scene one folder and again i will create a new folder and i will name it scene two I will open the scene 1 folder, highlight all the compositions in here and go to edit, duplicate it. I will drag these duplicated compositions to my scene 2 folder and I will close the scene 1 folder and I will delete these compositions in here. I will then open this scene 2 folder and highlight all these compositions and double click it to open it up. I will just delete the compositions that I'm not gonna be tweaking. So now I'm gonna arrange this one. Then I will open the placeholder 3 and open the assets. Go to image and I will just drop down this image to my timeline. I will delete this image. Press S on my keyboard for the scale. I will just scale it down and then go to placeholder 4 again i will delete this previous image and i will drag down this image into my timeline i will press s on my keyboard for the scale i will just scale it down open the media 3 press and hold alt and replace the compositions in here from placeholder 1 change it to placeholder 3 and this horizontal frame change it to horizontal frame 2 then open the media 4, highlight the placeholder 2, change it to placeholder 4. Highlight the placeholder, press P on your keyboard for the position and drag the image on the left side. This vertical frame, change it to vertical frame 2. Then open the carousel, change all the compositions in here. So this BG, I will change this to BG2 to change the others to we miss something else so we have to highlight this tagline put it on the scene one folder duplicate it then drag it into your scene 2 folder then open it up highlight this shape layer and go to layer transform flip horizontal and highlight these three text layers and move it on the left side now i'm gonna change some of this text so i will just delete this sliding and then go to my text tool choose this vertical type and i will type perfect i'm using the same font and i will just change the font size to 36 press on my keyboard r to rotate it and i will just drag it down i will change this carousel to beautiful And I will change the font size probably 60 and I will move it a little bit on the left side then I like this slideshow and I will change this text to piece I will also change this to 48 drag this on the left side so now I will open the carousel again I will press and hold alt and replace this tagline to tagline 2 now I will go to my project panel and double click this horizontal shape and move the images according to your choice. I think that should be good enough. So now open background 2 or BG2. Now if we will play this, you can see that the flow of our bouquet is on the right to left. So we want left to right, right? 
so all i have to do is to drag my blade at the end of the timeline change the shift center to 1500 if we will play it again now our bookie is on the left to right flow okay go to carousel 2 open it up highlight all press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes and change the animation in here so i will drag my playhead on the one second duration adjust the horizontal shape first highlight it drag it on this side highlight the tagline drag it on the left side until such time that the text are all visible so now i'm gonna drag my playhead at the end of my timeline and change the position here to this side until such time that it's out of our canvas there you go and then i will also change the rotation here to probably 10 degrees let's play it again let's see what happens so i'm satisfied with it so now i'm gonna go to composition create a new composition and i will name it main same 1920 by 1080p i want it 30 frames per second the duration i want it 16 seconds and i will click ok i will open the scene one i will drop down this carousel on my timeline and also the scene two i will drop down this carousel too and go my play to it seconds press open bucket key to move the layer and let's see i'm just gonna change the resolution to half so it's faster there you go so guys our tutorial is done i hope that you enjoy watching this video and if you support my channel don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the future my thoughts for the day guys is that one of the best lesson in life is to learn how to remain calm okay thank you guys for watching and god bless see you next time